We'll stay in the Big Ten, and Maryland is going to Minnesota. Minnesota, a four and a half point favorite, total of 46 and a half on this. My number on this is Minnesota favored by 4.78, so I'm pretty close. Over the past four weeks, it's got Maryland minus 0.14. So basically a pick 'em over the last four weeks. Uh, but this is Maryland going on the road, and that's not great. Maryland's defense is really good against the run. As you can see, number 20 in PPA per pass. They are, or sorry, PPA per rush. Uh, they are number 73 in rushing success rate allowed, though. Minnesota, they are pretty good at this. They're, they're not great at explosive runs. They're not great in offensive line yards. They're not great in stuff rate, but they find a way to run the ball. Darius Taylor is awesome. He just is. Uh, this Maryland defense, not good at stopping the pass, which is okay because Minnesota is not great at throwing the ball. Uh, what's really weird about this is they are number 84 in PPA per pass, but they throw the ball 56% of the time. That is number 28 in the country. They throw the ball the 28th most in the country, and they're not good at it. Number 107 in passing success rate, uh, just not great. On the other side, the thing that Maryland is best at, which is throwing the ball, they're number 47 in predicted points added per pass. Uh, Minnesota is best at defending it, number 18 in PPA allowed per pass. So uh, you start digging into these things, points per scoring opportunity. Uh, Minnesota is number 68. Minnesota is, uh, is number 39 on defense in that as far as Minnesota's offense, they're number 46 in points per scoring opportunity. When they get inside your 40, they're going to put up some points. Uh, Maryland is number 75 there. So Maryland allows teams to finish drives. Uh, this one... That was a big win for Minnesota, not Minnesota, excuse me, for Maryland last week at home. Comeback win over USC. That's an emotional win. Uh, Maryland has got, let's see, they haven't been great on the road. They got a bye week coming up, and then they've got Oregon uh, on the road after that. Uh, Minnesota, what they've got, they're coming off of a bye week, and they play at Illinois next week. This is a big game for Minnesota. I think they're going to be fired up. Uh, the fight in P.J. Flex, I think, are going to be able to cover this number. Uh, the best I found was a four out there, so give me Minnesota minus the four on this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.